welcome again to this show, The Divine Encounter. We are so excited again to have you, our viewer. It's almost coming to the close of the year, and each one of us has a reason to give God praise. We are so grateful that you've been with us for the many months that we, we since we started, and that you've been watching us, and God of all grace will continue blessing you. Today is another show. We are looking forward to being with you as we begin with this song that I wrote many years ago, but uh, you know songs Ooh. never die. The song says to Nakua Budubana, and God shall bless you. I'm Reverend Ruth Wamoyo. Keep it sitting. Watawala kwa uwezo Unafanya miujiza Watawala kwa uwezo Unafanya miujiza Watawala kwa uwezo Unafanya miujiza Tunakuwa budu Tunakuwa Kwa fadhili zako Uketie juu sana Uimidi weda Wana tunakuwa budu kwa Sima wa yuda Fadhili zako Uketie juu sana Uimidi weda Inu wa sauti Tunakuwa budu Kwa fadhili zako Uketie juu sana Uimidi we daima Mkono wako waweza Mkono wako waweza Mkono wako wainua Mkono wako waweza Mkono wako waponya wagonjwa Mkono wako waponya wagonjwa Mkono wako wainua Mkono wako waweza Tunakuwa budu buwana Mabadili za kubwana Uketie juu sana Tunakuwa budu Uimidiweda Who 
Upewe sifa milele Kono wako wapanya Kono wako waini wabwana Kono wako wakoma Kono wako watena Kono wako watena makomu wabwana We give you praise, O God We give you praise, O God Hallelujah. Glory to God. He deserves all the praise. Him that is seated above the heavens. And I believe today we've not read the psalm of the day. We are going to read it a bit later. But uh, we are going to come back after this break to introduce the topic of today. Once again, our viewer, welcome back. It's your show, Divine Encounter. We are celebrating the goodness of the Lord. And the topic of today is just thanksgiving. Why is it important to give thanks? When we give thanks, what happens? And we start off by reading Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, O ye lads. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us, not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. And verse 4 says, Enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Verse 5, For the Lord is good and his mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. As we almost come to the close of the year, days are being numbered. Uh, in Psalm 65, verse 11, he says that he crowned the ear with bounty and he causes our parts to drip with fatness. I believe there are testimonies that you have. There is something good that the Lord has done to you. And uh, I was trying to look at what thanksgiving means. And thanksgiving is just appreciation. It's just telling God, thank you for what he has done. Maybe not just extended to God, but to people that are close to you that have made your life better. Just go and tell them, I appreciate you. And I've realized that people who give thanks are people who don't have a sense of entire they feel that what they have they, they, they is a privilege that has been accorded to them. They don't feel like they are entitled to having it. They feel like they are indebted to God and they want to tell him thank you. There is no neutral position of thanksgiving. You are either giving thanks or you are complaining or murmuring. And we choose a CTN to give thanks unto the Lord. Amen. If you are in agreement with me wherever you are in, on the screen, just say amen. So the Bible says enter his gates with thanksgiving. Why do we enter his gates with thanksgiving? And uh, I think we have a neighbor panel here. And they're going to help me as we talk about it. Why is thanksgiving important before we worship God? And I will begin by saying, number one, the minute we give thanks is we are, we, 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 are, we, are, we are inviting God into our situation and telling him that the prayers that we prayed, he has already answered. Actually, the Bible says that when we ask, we make sure that as, uh, he, we know that he has heard, we give thanks because he has already 
hard. There were 10 lepers that were cleansed. Only one came and gave thanks. And Jesus said, because you came to give thanks, your miracle has been made whole. It means that there are situations that are not yet complete. As you give thanks to God, he completes that which concerns you. James 1.17 says that every good and perfect gift comes from the Father above, uh, the Father of all lights, in whom there is no valuableness, no shadow of turning. That means that every good gift you have, it is not because of just your hard work. There is an, an immortal hand, an invisible hand working behind the scenes to make all those things possible. So we're going to sing to the Lord and, and sing a song of thanksgiving. And as we do that, we are going to talk about it later, importance of thanksgiving, and make sure you have a list. Let God know that you're grateful that he has brought you this far. Over to us as a team. Say, 
powerful indeed is more than one we can tell him we are talking about thanksgiving and thanksgiving is not just saying thank you it has to come from the heart and i'll ask the person whose name is close to thanksgiving furaha can you tell us what thanksgiving does to you anytime you get into his presence with thanksgiving what does does thanksgiving do to your soul well, it releases my soul and it gives me peace. Amen. And that uh, knowledge of knowing that God is in control of everything. It doesn't matter what I'm going through, but yes. I'm just giving him thanks because he knows me. And uh, he, the Bible says that uh, uh, everything worketh together for good to them who loves the Lord. And Amen. If, if I'm passing through the storm, through mm -hmm. the fire, mm -hmm. I just tell God, thank you for, because you know why I'm passing through this. Amen. And I feel peace in my heart when I do that. Amen. Yeah. You can never give things things and have a bad day. Mm -hmm. When you give thanks, suddenly the burden is lifted. Yeah. And there's some people who work behind the scene. We rarely talk to them. <laughs> you have Rashid here. Unapo mshukuru mungu, unapo cheza gita, unasikianga nini? Unasikia uwepo kabisa wabwana. Uwepo wabwana unahisi. Amen. Na uwepo wabwana unapo fika, unahisi nini ndani ya moyo wako. Unahisi kucheza vitu zingina ambazo zinakuja mjuu ya mbingu. Amen. Powerful. Na ni kweli anapocheza yeye ucheza na furaha inapoenda kwa level nyingine. Amen. Our viewer keep it at CTN. Keep writing to us. Don't just tell us. It's good you say we appreciate you, but tell us something. Is there anything that we say that blessed you? Is there anything, a question you have? Keep communicating to us. We love you and we appreciate you. And this is a just a, a uh, a divine encounter program dedicated to thanksgiving. We just want to give thanks because of you, for being there, for every battle that God has conquered for you. We thank God on your behalf. Let's go to another song as we worship the Lord. You can never sing such songs and remain dull. You just give Him glory. Mataifa yote ya kuabudu 
Bwana wa rehema Bwana wa rehema Tuna kuabudu Umetenda Umetenda mama Mataifa yote ya kuabudu Bwana wa rehema wa rehema tuna kuabudu umetenda mambo mengine ya ajabu umeinuliwa wewe uliwa tukuka baba Tukuza wewe Wewe ulie tupenda Kabla tukupende Ulie tujua Kabla tukujue Ume hinuliwe baba Wewe ume tukuka Jehova Adonai el shatai Mataifa yote ya kuabudu Wewe Jehova Wanawa Umetena mambo Mengina ya ajabu Ume hinduliwa baba Wewe umetama laki pote Mataifa yote ya kuwabudu Wana wareema Mfane wa wafane Umetena mambo O mengi Na ya ajabu Atuwezi kuwezabu Matendo yako Ni ya ajabu Mataifa yote 
that endure forever and ever from the beginning of the year till now though we have been through issues he has been our God we give you thanks and we give you glory thank you heavenly father amen and amen it's again divine encounter keep writing to us the number on your screen keep telling us what this show is doing to you for those of you who have been encouraging us telling us keep it up it's blessing you we truly appreciate you and um, I want us just to talk about apart from testimonies uh, maybe we talk about testimonies na pengine tutaongea na Ken because brother Ken we've not tujaongea na wewe kwa muda mrefu utuambie apart from matendo ya Mungu katika maisha yako ni what else can you thank God for apart from the things he has done he has healed you he has what else can you thank God for ah uh, mi upande wangu i mm. thank God first uh, i always thank him because number one of who, who he is amen He's that's a great powerful God. yes he is I need to thank him because of the things he has done. Amen. I need to thank him because of the things he's going to do today yes. and even for the things he will do tomorrow. Ooh, a sacrifice of thanksgiving. Yes, he is the Glory. same yesterday, today and forever. Amen. So I have to thank him at whatsoever condition. Wow. In rain, in doubt, in hunger, in fear. Hey. I need to thank Habakkuk him. That's Habakkuk speaking. Yes, thank even you. Even when there is no cows in the herd. Thank I will God. still praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. That is very profound, brother Ken. Is uh, we praise the Lord, we thank God for what has happened, what is about to happen, which is called a sacrifice of thanksgiving. Naona brother Sebi unaniangalia. Ni nini kwako maishani Mungu ameshaikutendea? Ina wakati unaikumbuka inakufanya uende kwa mbele za Mungu na shukurani. Amen. Asante sana for the, for the opportunity. Amen. Mimi kitu ambacho kinatuma nakumbuka Mungu amefanya kitu kikubwa sana kwa maisha yangu ni kwamba nakumbuka nikiwa high school mm-hmm. kuna classmate wangu tulikuwa mm-hmm. tunasoma na yeye alafu ali, ali, ni kama nilikuwa na, napata 18 out of 20 alafu yeye ana, anapata 2 out of 20 wow alafu nikasema wacha nimsaidie ala ndo baadaye Mungu akanipe scholarship Ehe sasa nikamsaidia sikukuwa na muhepa watu wengine walikuwa wanamuhepa because hakukuwa anashika wow kwa, kwa hivyo sasa nika nikavumilia nikamfunza nikamfunza ikafika mahali tukamaliza term 2 term uh, first term haku, hakukuwa na kitu lakini second term kuna mahali amefika third term alikuwa kwa uh, alikuwa kwa group tulikuwa tunasoma na wao tulikuwa group ya watu kama 20 ni yeye alikuwa nyuma yangu sasa ni mimi nilikuwa leader wao wow. alafu after hizo uh, certificates diploma zikuje yeye akakuja in 10th top 10 kwa hiyo shule yetu wow. na mimi Mungu akanipea hiyo nilikuwa nime nimemuomba amen so alikuwa ali, kutoka kwa from 7 to 8 alikuwa ana repeat more than 6 lessons wow yes. so unashukuru Mungu na kwa shukuru. sababu ya mtu mwingine yes. bila alimtendea kupitia kwako amen wow that's a powerful testimony ni mara nyingi atukumbuki kuambia Mungu asante kwa sababu ya watu wengine 
kila saa ni mimi mimi Mungu amenitendea wow that is a blessing and i believe our viewers we are learning that even if god has not done it for you yet there is somebody that he has done for you can lift up that testimony in thanksgiving and that will open up the gates of heaven start to wange sana because most of our viewers will be saying we want you to sing more we are really trying because the word of god is also in our hearts and we also want to sing so we are going to enjoy with us as we sing for the next like 20 minutes and we believe you're going to be blessed whatever you are if you need to move the chairs if you need to move even if you have to kick somebody a little bit and tell them get out of my way and as we praise the name of the Lord and worship him amen we are ready to praise the Lord amen i don't know whether it's sister Farah or sister Beatrice uh, that is going to lead us whoever is on on you know just raise a song unto the Lord amen Ya Mungu la 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 Ya
ourselves of how to praise the Lord. I believe the song says Yesu alinipenda akanikumbatia. Alinipenda akaniita akanikumbatia. Akanikumbatia. That's a very powerful song. I believe it's from our Luya brethren. And now we go to the next song of your stay tuned as we get blessed. Amen.
shout your praise to the Lord in the house. Yeah! Amen. We are just singing a Kikuyu song that says, Thank you, thank you. We are saying thank you. Written by our brother Watunda, even though he's from Congo. You still can write a song in Kikuyu. We bless the Lord because of all languages. As we get in this moment of worship, just worship with us. Let go your spirit, your soul, your body as you surrender all to worship God. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you glory. Father, we exalt your name. Father, we adore you. Shiva, 
God has given us this privilege to worship together. And I believe there is something you've been waiting for from God. And I feel in my spirit that God has just handed over the key to your answer. Because any time we enter his courts with thanksgiving and we bless his name, he comes among us and dwells. us. And any time God visits, signs, wonders and miracles happen. I declare over your life and over the life of your family that it shall be well. It shall be well. It shall be well. One time, a woman came to Prophet Elijah and her child was dead. Shunammite woman. And all that the woman would say, it is well with my soul. It doesn't matter what is happening. As long as God is with you, it is well with your soul. We leave you with that remark. To tell you that no matter the tides, no matter the shakeups, it is well with your soul. Keep a thanksgiving song in your mouth, a sacrifice of thanksgiving. And before long, you will share with us your testimony. From us in the city and family, keep writing to us, keep talking to us. We bless the Lord for you. See you again. God bless you.